Terve! Welcome to Kepper's Garage! Now we are working on the walls. So the plan is to cut uh, good sized pieces from the fin foam and fill all the bigger gaps uh, on the wall between the structure and all the smaller gaps will be filled with polyurethane and it will also the polyurethane will also glue in the foam the foam sheets and therefore they hold hold there pretty nicely. Uh, wife is actually doing that. She's also the better Tetris player of us. And I am starting to think on the framing side of things. So we need to have some solid wood beneath the when, uh, wall veneer so we can attach the cabinets and stuff like that. So I'm taping in the uh, layout again so I can see where we need to have some sort of structure. Yeah, the fin foam is pretty nice stuff. You can carve it and it, it will still be strong and it's pretty easy to carve with some sharp knife. Alright, so now we are installing the floorboards. So we are using these uh, tiny screws uh, to screw the board uh, against the wooden bits we put under the or well between the insulations. And I'm creating this kind of small start for the screws with this kind of drill bit and with the hole the screw will be at the same level than the board so there won't be any bumps on the vinyl we put on the top of the board we also have all the insulation boards cut so after the floor is there we will start putting on the framing and after the framing is mostly done we can start gluing in the thin forms. pretty sturdy there is these fixes and stuff like that like there was this kind of fix and there it was broken and there is the seam so we thought that we might end up putting in the laminate floor it will give give us like a little bit more st structure than the plastic carpet thingy so let's see. So now we are planning to do the frame. So here we have the back of the van. And I'm trying to figure out the frame for the bed. So because of the rear end is like this 
angular shaped thingy we will create this rectangular piece and then we add this nice piece at the end of the bed so the bed will be like weird shaped so I'm starting the framing from the bed uh, end pieces and then I can continue with the rest of the van I will leave these uh, detached for now so we can walk walk easily through the van while doing the insulation and other stuff creating the bolt mount for the uh, bed structure. So we are now going to use the nut, rivet nuts. These kind of things. So it works like normal rivets or the pop rivets. I'm not sure what's that in English but it creates these threads into thin sheet metal. The device looks like this. And you attach it into the electric drill. But first we need to create hole. That's simple. First we did do this. We, we measured the structure where it's supposed to be. Uh, then I drilled with smaller drill bit the places for the bolts and now we are enlarging the holes for the nut rivets so which one is the correct hole probably this one So, then we attach the tool. Then we attach the rivet. Still learning. Like this. And then we install it into the hole like this and then we drill it <sighs> something like this <clears throat> now it should be good let's test it from there yep seems to be good Pretty useful things this not a rivet or rivet nuts. So the idea for the rivet is that it will when there is the sheet metal the tool squeezes the rivet against the other side of the sheet metal so it will be stuck here and then the bolt will stay there.
longer also when there will be the side side and side and hood and there will be the arch wife is trying to beat me <laughs> with the insulation uh, it will be stronger whenever we have the rest of the stuff there but feels pretty strong already but next we will start working on the wall structure so we were thinking that we should probably create this horizontal structure first like for that part and for that part and also down on the floor level so we can have like ver vertical structure at the top of that so if it's two centimeters like there it will be same level than this one because we have these bumps here then we will have the two centimeters here then we will be adding two centimeters at the top of that so the four centimeters should be enough to cover this bump here so let's see how it goes there is also that bump we sealed all the uh, holes which will be left behind the wood so there will be this vapor barrier behind that and and yes after the walls we will start working on the ceiling Alright, so we are using these self-drilling screws uh, to connect the wood structure to the sheet metal. So this will go straight through the wood and uh, the tip of the screw will make hole into the sheet metal and it will stick there better. Uh, the rivet nuts is only for the like bigger structure we need to have so I am going to add uh, also some rivet nuts at the top of the structure so we can secure the upper cabinet uh, into those ones. The other wooden structure will, will only hold the skeleton of the wall and the paneling so it will be enough to have these smaller screws. Now we have those mounting points all over the upper parts of the structure like there and there and there and all around. Uh, we decided to add them throughout the whole length of the van also this side too because uh, currently we are not super sure where we want the cabinets so we want to have the possibility everywhere. I probably managed still to install the bed frame. So let's just bolt this guy in.
So this is the plan. Um, we attach those vertical ones into the horizontal ones. <laughs> Simple as that. Here we have the rivet nuts behind the wood so we can bolt in whatever we want to bolt in. Uh, these are two centimeters, this is five centimeters so we carve out small piece here so we can attach the vertical one also here and it will follow the shape nicely.